Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Jesse Smollett, uh, aka Juicy Smollett. Shout out to Dave Chappelle. Uh, his conviction in 2019 act to, um, attack on himself is overturned you guys we, we're gonna talk about it uh so first and foremost anything i say is alleged and in my personal opinion uh this is for entertainment purposes only this is not personal the copyright act is in my description box so let's get into it you guys this is everywhere so let's get into it all the illinois supreme court on thursday overturned actor Jesse Smollett's conviction on charges of staging a racist and homophobic attack against himself in 2019 and lying to Chicago police, saying he should not have been charged a second time after reaching a deal with prosecutors. The ruling, which did not address Smollett's continued claims of innocence, was the latest twist in a years-long saga. Smollett, who is black and gay made headlines around the world after he told police in january 2019 that two men assaulted him in his downtown chicago neighborhood uh spouting slurs tossing a noose around his neck and yelling that he was in quote MAGA country in an attempt in an apparent reference to donald trump's make america great again presidential campaign slogan the report prompted a massive search for suspects by chicago police before investigators announced that they believed the attack was a hoax the state's highest court found that a special prosecutor should not have been allowed to intervene after Smollett uh, reached a deal with the Cook County State's attorney in which charges against him were dropped in exchange for him forfeiting his $10,000 bond and performing community service. The deal prompted outrage in part because it did not include any condition in which Smollett apologized or admitted that he staged the attack. We are aware that this case has generated significant public interest and that many people were dissatisfied with the resolution of the original case and believed it to be unjust. Justice Elizabeth Rockford wrote in the court's 5-0 opinion, nevertheless, what would be more unjust than the resolution of any one criminal case uh, that would be holding from uh, this court that the state was not bound to honor agreements upon which people have uh, detrimentally relied? Smollett, who was on the television drama Empire, which filmed in Chicago, and prosecutors allege he staged the attack because he was unhappy with the studio's response to hate mail he received. Testimony at trial indicated he paid $3,500 to two men who he knew from, quote, Empire to take to carry out uh you know what happened. Smollett testified that there was no hoax and that he was a victim of a hate crime. Smollett declined to comment Thursday through a publicist, his attorney, uh, Ninye Uke, um, sorry if I'm butchering your name, Uche, said Smollett was happy and relieved, but also disappointed to have been dragged through an unfair process. Even though this is over now, and Jesse is absolutely wants to move his life forward, people should start asking questions. How did this happen? Why should this even happen? What can we do to make sure this doesn't happen again? Uche said in a news conference in Chicago, the special prosecutor, former U.S. attorney Dan Webb, said he disagreed with the court's ruling while noting that this has, quote, nothing to do with Mr. Smollett's innocence. The Illinois Supreme Court did not find any error with the overwhelming evidence presented at trial uh, that Mr. Smollett orchestrated a fake hate crime and reported it to the Chicago Police Department as a real hate crime or the jury's unanimous verdict that Mr. Smollett was guilty of five counts of felony disorderly conduct, Webb said. After Cook County State Attorney Kim Fox's office dropped the initial 16 counts of disorderly conduct, the uh, backlash was swift, with then-mayor... Um, Rahim Emanuel calling it a whitewash of justice. Uh, Webb was appointed special prosecutor in a grand jury restored charges leading to Smollett's 2021 conviction on five counts of disorderly conduct. Smollett was sentenced to 150 days in jail, six of which he served before he was freed pending appeal and was ordered to pay about $130,000 in restitution. Chicago officials are pursuing reimbursement for that amount and police overtime through a civil 
civil case. Fox told the Associated Press that she was not surprised that the high court found her handling of the case uh, proper, if unpopular, proper. Uh, she criticized Webb's ensuing legal um, machinations, machinations, which she said ignored uh, the tenet of prosecutorial prosecutorial discretion and landed the issue in the same position we were in in March 2019. What they were doing and in going into the court to re-prosecute someone because you didn't like the outcome would have set up a horrendous precedent in which anyone could come in and undermine the work of a prosecutor's office, said Fox, who did not seek a third term this year. Uh, and uh, then Eline O'Neill Burke, the incoming Cook County State's Attorney, declined to comment. Smollett, a child actor who appeared in 1982 movie The Mighty Ducks, has credited his role as a singer on the hip-hop drama Empire for uh, turbocharging his career. This year, he starred in a movie, The Lost Holiday, with Vivica Fox, Illinois Supreme Court Justice Mary, Mary Jane uh, Theus, and Justice Joy Cunningham took no part in Thursday's uh decision you guys um so <laughs> this is a lot um i don't understand you know why they retried the case again if there was already a deal made i think that's a huge reason why uh this piece of it got overturned um uh, however it is correct that it's technically not addressing the innocence or guilty of it all right but just the fact that trying to retry a, a case that basically already a deal was made with prosecution on what were going to be the terms and the parameters of, you know, serving whatever initial sentence and community service and everything else, that should have been the end of it. But it was clear that, you know, people were going to, you know, continue to pursue this uh, to the fullest extent and try to continue to make an example out of Jesse Smollett because the rumor was he was upset that uh, he allegedly was, you know, expecting, you know, his career to go a certain direction after Empire and didn't get some big time Broadway role or something like that. And then allegedly, you know, staged this attack to try to get some attention and, and be a victim and then that was going to lead to other opportunities because remember at the time of all of this uh remember Kamala Harris you know she was on the campaign trail uh because we were uh that was around the time you know for the election of Joe Biden when all this stuff was going down so um it, it was just a lot you guys it, it was a lot going on at the time and um you know here's the thing right because I still don't feel this really addresses the innocence or the guilty of it all. But it's just basically saying, listen, like, like enough time has passed. There was no reason for you to go to this extent to, to do all of this, this extra if a deal was worked out. It's basically my interpretation of it. And, and the other thing is this, you guys. They just, you, some of you, some of you just elected you guys a convicted felon for president <laughs> you some of you just re-elected somebody who said grab them by the bleep you guys so so nonetheless you know you you can't have that happening right you you you've um re-elected somebody who who has all uh, of these cases and convictions right and, and active cases still going on right that they're basically trying to make disappear now that he got reelected, right? And, and then you have this case. <laughs> you have this case, right? But the other side to this, uh, kind of like what I said in my Jonathan Majors video, is what happens now? Where do we go from here, right? Because we're, we're approaching the end of 2024. Where do we go from here, you guys? Is Jesse Smollett's career going to magically have a resurgence now? Uh, is he going to get called back into Hollywood to have more opportunities? Because I didn't even know about the Christmas movie with uh, Vivica Fox. And, and I'm pretty uh, plugged in to a lot of the, you know, movies and whether it's a TV movie or whatever uh, that the black actors and actresses are, are involved in. And I didn't even know about that. Right. So wh where do we go from here? Is this going to now 
uh, have an opportunity for Jesse Smollett to, you know, get on another, you know, a uh, big time sitcom or drama or, 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 or what is, what is going to happen now? Right. What do you guys think of this? I, I just think it's interesting, right? Cause this is, this is the same day that both this case gets overturned and then Jonathan Majors X drops the uh, lawsuit against him. Very interesting day, you guys. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.